This build is sponsored by wood to works where you can get quality woods for your luthery, turning and carving needs. They ship worldwide and have a great service to help you choose through their great selection. few moments here to thank uh, Bow River Wood to Works for sponsoring this build and this video. Uh, they provide domestic and exotic woods in a sustainable way and uh, they've been doing that for over 30 years. I'll leave a link down here to their website and uh, down in the description. Go check them out. Okay, so uh, now that the outer rim is done, uh, I made uh, myself a little uh, transcribe of, from my print of the neck block section. And then the neck block actually act also as the scroll section. Uh, the wood direction is gonna go this way, but once that's cut and that my piece of wood here is formed, uh, I won't be able to use that here, uh, risking breaking it uh, with uh, pressure so I need 
to make sure that the, the side piece that's going to hold the whole side here actually goes all the way up to here so I can use that to, to bring it in uh, a bit more easily. So uh, that's going to be the pattern for the neck block and I'm going to get started working on those sides. So you can see right here the gap that's left for the form sides. So the sides will go around here, stop here, and then the wood block here will take the rest of the shape. And then uh, the dovetail will be here for the neck. And then it's going to continue here with another form piece that's going to go to the point. So we have our channel already created here. And now I'm just going to put my center line and uh, mark that with my uh, marking knife. So to make the jig, I obviously ended up with a bunch of those offcuts. So now I'm going to be using those and that's what's underneath here uh, to create my inside uh, coal. So what, what I'm going to do is now that we have those made, I can put those in place and that's going to allow me to see uh, how much room I've got here for uh, this section. And then also I made the one for the back here. Uh, so I can see the, the size of that. So what I'll do is trace the outline
this concludes part two in the mando cello build. So the jig is all uh, done up. There might be a few adjustments because of the height of the of the side. So I might put a few little spacer blocks underneath the jig just to uh, center it onto the sides. Same thing with the uh, calls that uh, we're going to apply pressure on the sides, on the inside. So I might uh, shim with little blocks, but we'll we'll see that a bit uh, later. Um, in the next video, I'll be talking about how I made those blocks. So this is the neck block with the scroll section, and this uh, the tail block, and also the two point blocks for uh, the bottom points. So uh, a lot of material. Also, uh, in the next video, I'll be bending the sides. So as of now, I still have to uh, get them to size and uh, thickness them uh, before I, I bend them. But that's going to be in the next video. So uh, I hope you're going to be uh, follow <coughs> following up on uh, what's coming up with this build. I hope you enjoyed this segment. Uh, don't forget to like and share and place a comment. Uh, check me on my Instagram and on my Facebook page. And until next time, I wish you well.